and Barb Morganfield, and I'm going to show you a bookmarking tool that I used. And the reason that I started using it was because I was taking a class in technology last semester, and the course itself had so many different websites that we had to go to that I was becoming agitated. And I was not unable to find where I needed to go, and so I found out about this tool. It's a, it's a bookmarking tool. I don't know if you're familiar with Digo or not, but Digo was one that I think came out prior to this, but it's more linear and it lists things. Uh, this to me was more visually appealing. I'm more of a visual learner, and so I found out about Simbaloo, and it's very easy to use. Um, as you can see, I, all of these up here are my little tabs that I used and, and created. They're called Web Mixes. It's a free application that you can get, and you can also set it so that when you turn your computer on and go into whatever browser you're going to, that your Simbaloo automatically comes up. And so I always go to mine. I'll just show you mine real quickly that I always go to. Um, I call it, I know these, I have a ton of them, I'm sorry, but I've been <laughs> doing all kinds of stuff with them. Um, this one is my regular work one, and I can tell you right down here, I go down here, here's my webmail, here's my Blackboard, and a lot of the main um, sites that I use. Now, in using this for students, I have found that, for example, right here, I made one called SMU Teach 5327 which is one of my classes that I teach. And these are, I can give my students this link, and then they have various, all of these websites available to them that they might be able to use in my class. And they've got it all in one place. And so it's their own, they're developing their own personal learning environment where they can keep all of their, their tools together. And so you can, if I wanted to um, add uh, a tile, all you have to, Excuse me, I'm not used to this little thing either, it's very sensitive. Sorry, I'm trying to move over here to create my own tile. And you can either copy a web address in it, or you can type one, one in, and click a name for tile, and it'll verify its address. It brings up SMU, I'm going to click that there because I want to have my tile have a title on it. You can decide what color you want to make it. You can add an icon. And um, then you can say, add the tile to my web mix. It automatically does that. You move it there. And then the student, all they have to do is click on that. And as you can see, it will take you there. And um, you can uh, get to those sites very easily. Another thing about this is when you want to add a web mix, you have a choice as to whether, I'm sorry again, I, no, sister, to have it be tiles of websites or if you are keeping track of um, RSS feeds, uh, if you're following Twitter accounts or hashtags that your students are using, or if you are following somebody's blogs or something like that, you can put that into RSS feeds as well. And so that keeps that. Um, so the way that I have, I have used it in class is I've just given students these symbols or the link to my symbol, and then they have all that information available. And for example, we have one here. I made one for today's class or for our session here, if I can find where we are. Don't, I know I have a ton, I'm sorry. Um, I use this a lot. But here are all the links. These are links right down here in the green that we put in earlier. These links up here are all ones that were added today. And so Barbara will put this on the CTE website. And so if you want to come to this web or this symbolu and not have to, you know, find wherever you, um, if you input some of those websites and don't want to have to search for them again or don't know where to put them, you can find them and they're right here. Now, I have found some glitches with this, and one of the glitches is, for example, um, I was messing around with this today, adding some of the sites that my colleagues gave me to put into Symbolu, and when um, I had already given them a link earlier in the year to my Symbolu site. So the link actually took, 
even though I made changes in this, the link took them, took them back to the original symbolu. And I tried refreshing and it wasn't working, so I'm thinking that when you get the link, you have to actually create an account in Symbolu and put that web link or web mix in your own Symbolu, add it to your own Symbolu account, and then click refresh. Um, I've got an email in to the Symbolu folks, but so far I haven't heard anything back from them. Um, you can also, I just want to add one more thing, you can put PDF files. You can also put PDF files in there, and the PDF files will open up. So that is my quick little um, thing that I've been using, and I found it very helpful, and um, I use it every day. So, and I don't know my students. I have another thing that I use called Live Binder. I don't know if you're familiar with that. Same kind of concept, only it looks like a binder, and it has tabs and things like this. My students, uh, some really liked the Symbolu, and some really preferred the live binder, so again, it's more of a preference. So, anyway, thank you. And I believe that we're finished, so if anybody has any questions uh, for any, anybody. Well, I know we've run, uh, run a little bit late, so I'd like to thank you all for coming. I mean, I think you can hang around if you want to stop by and see us individually. Otherwise, I guess you've noticed that we have cameras. This session was recorded and will be posted on the CT website. Is that right, Beth? Right, and if they send us any of their presentations to post, we'll post those. And, and also, um, I will post a list with the, the names and email addresses of all the presenters. So in case you wanted to follow up with some particular person with a question, uh, you can do that. Okay. Again, thank you all for coming. Thank you very much.